are... Gregory. Yeah. We have a duty. These weapons will not maintain themselves. Right, right. Your disposition is as lax as that of your counterpart from this world. You perform well in battle, but whether you can be trusted remains an open question. Perhaps I make you uncomfortable. You are free to go in that case. Only one of us need remain. No, I don't want to go and leave you here all by yourself. To work, I mean. <sighs> uh, sorry. In any case, yeah, I want to stay. This is going nowhere. Your motives are a complete mystery. If we are to make progress, we must have an open discourse. Discourse? We should begin with an exchange of facts so we both have the same information. Wait, Mavir. Are you saying you actually want to talk to me? Do you object? <laughs> you seem distressed. Distressed? No. I... I wanted to talk to you too. But I was scared that you hadn't forgiven me since I abandoned you. I didn't think I could show my face. I'm so sorry. I cannot say that I understand, but I do hear you at least. Mavir, I'll never leave you alone again, I promise. I'll always be by your side. This is going to be challenging. Say, Mavir, even though we're talking, I don't really feel like you trust me. If that is so, it is unintentional on my part. Oh, okay. Well, I still thought you should know that I took over from Avir in my old world. That's how much you trusted me. I mean, not you, but the you back there. I believe you. And you do seem like someone I could potentially trust with my life. What was the me in this world like? You were in the Four Hounds together, right? Are you sure you want to know? Well, yeah, I mean, it's a little unfair to know nothing about him. I told you about my Mavir. Yes, you did. With a great deal of emotion. Very well, if you insist. But I warn you, the tale is not a pleasant one. You should steal yourself. If you're trying to scare me... What I am about to say has not been confirmed directly by him, but it is the truth as I know it. Your counterpart, abandoned by his parents, was taken in by a church of the Fell Dragon. Okay, so far, same as me. Unlike you, he discovered early on that he enjoyed pain, receiving and inflicting. Rumors suggest he considered his own pain to be spiritual, an offering to the Fell Dragon. It was that fanaticism that earned him Zephyr's attention, and an invitation to the Four Hounds. In those days, I hear he was almost incapable of ordinary conversation. A complete pariah. I, I can see why. Who would want to be friends with someone who liked pain? What about the Four Hounds? How did they get along? Not well. Our tenuous bonds were shattered by the death of one person. The death of one person? Was it me? Or Celestia? M Madeline? <sighs> Marnie. This world's Madeline was killed by your and Celestia's counterparts. What? They called her death a waste. They laughed over it. I could not forgive them. So, I defected. When I look at you, I see his face. Perhaps that is why I have been unable to trust you fully. I can't blame you. If he did something that horrible... Well, I understand your attitude now. Sorry. I'll stop bothering you. Thanks, um... Thanks for talking to me. <sighs> Are you alright? You seem distraught. Nope. I'm fine. Everything's fine. It is only natural to be upset by my recounting of those events. If it was more than you could bear, allow me to apologize. 
I should be more considerate. I it's fine, really. I was the one who asked. If he did all that, well, I wouldn't trust me either. Circumstances have changed. I know now that you are not capable of doing the things he did. Obviously. I'm not that kind of guy. I'd never kill an ally, and I... I wouldn't abandon one to fend for themselves either. I believe you. I am certain you would risk mortal peril to protect your friends. For that, you have earned my trust. Oh, really? <laughs> you don't know what it means to finally hear that. Thanks for believing in me, Mavir. Huh? What? I say thank you and you just stand there staring at me like that? Your thanks caught me off guard. It made me realize that in all the years I knew Gris, he never once thanked me for anything. Because we're not the same person. I mean, the me of this world sounds like a huge weirdo, to put it lightly. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> what is it? Oh, nothing. I was just thinking. I'd never heard Mavir laugh before. Perhaps, but as you rightly pointed out, we are not the same person. <laughs> exactly. Even if we do look like them at times, we're still just us. Let's keep up the good work, Mavir. Agreed.